You know what the most depressing part about this? What? Is that there will be someone, like, if this makes it to the internet, that will watch this and be like, You guys! Yes! You guys Ow! so oh, bad. I'm nine on the scoreboard! <laughs> Top ten, motherfucker! You're on my level! <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> New game. I was wearing my try-hard bibs for that one, motherfucker. You're wearing your fucking full-on try-hard giant slalom suit. Dude, I'm wearing my try-hard 90s jumpsuit. What's going on guys, it's Snoop603 from Shushi Bang, and for those that follow me on Twitter, you will understand why you are watching something that's not Battlefield 4. It's because I did say on Twitter the other day that I would be introducing some new games to the channel relatively soon, and, um, well, if anyone has a problem with that, then tough stuff, because I play other games. Oh my god, I play other games. <laughs> I don't mean that in a condescending manner by any means, guys. Like, I know everyone knows that, um, I play Battlefield 4, I play a lot of Battlefield 4, and I have, uh, recently started to really enjoy it. I found a way through it, but there are other games I really enjoy, and what you're watching right now is one of the ones that I am actually putting the most amount of time into. This is Trackmania Stadium. Um, I actually started playing Trackmania Nations Forever. It's a Steam game. It's on PC, obviously. And it, what it is, it's kind of like an arcade racer. The There's nothing this, overly special about it. It's by no means anything like iRacing, where it's more of a, a racing sim. In the sense that I, I view iRacing as a very realistic racing game. Uh, the cars are supposed Amazing to handle very realistic. Things are supposed to react realistically and everything. It's... As real as real gets as far as a computer or a, you know, a game that simulates racing. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm kind of repeating myself being redundant, but I want to just be clear what I, I view iRacing. And then I, and with that in mind, I want to be clear that Trackmania is nothing like that by any means. It is a pure arcade, nothing fucking makes sense whatsoever kind of racer. And I am addicted to this game. I cannot tell you how much fun I have playing this game. I did actually get Fake Thriller, um, Scanner Barkley, and Tim, or Darkness429 from Battlefield Podcast. I actually got them all to give it a shot. And actually, I want to say I even got In The Works Media to give it a shot, too. And no one really seemed to... They were all kind of like, eh. Like, I know Tim was just like, nope, nah, fuck this. Not really, not really interested, for the most part. Um, it, it seemed like he had fun kind of at first, but he lost interest rather quickly. Same with Fake Thriller. He said it got too repetitive for him, but I'll, I'll get to how the game plays in a minute. Skinner Parkley actually seems to like it, or at least he's willing to give it a chance. He actually was the one that bought me Trackmania Stadium because he knew how much I was enjoying Trackmania Nations. And my really good friend, Rafterman603, he's my close fishing buddy, another guy that lives in the same hometown as me along with Fake Thriller. He's been playing the shit out of this game with me. He, he also finds it hilarious and awesome and fun. But, you know, enough of that. So you get the background kind of of how I got into it and who's played it and who hasn't and who finds it enjoyable and who doesn't. And... Long story short, I am addicted to this game. I know I said it before, but I, I really need to reiterate that point because I fucking love this game. I don't know what it is about it. I think it, what it must come down to is that I, before I was really into first person shooters, I was into racing games. And for those that have been around for the channel for a long time and are adamant about watching our videos, you will remember that in one of the videos I mentioned, uh, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was like a history of Shusty Bang or something like that. It was around our 40,000 subscribers special. We talked about kind of where we come from as gamers, and my early beginnings really came from racing games. It was one of the the one genres I really stuck to, like Need for Speed Underground being one of the ones that I got really, really heavily into. And Track Media Nations has kind of re, uh, revived that interest I had in racing games. To talk about the game itself specifically, I know I've been talking for almost four minutes now, I haven't even fucking talked about the game yet. It's an arcade racer. I know I've said that, but I really need to stress that it is an arcade racer because I know people have different tastes when it comes to racing games, and it's very cut and dry. Like, I only like pure racing sims and realistic, or I only really like um, the arcadey things like Need for Speed, or in this case, Track Mania, or um, a Burnout Paradise, something like that. But there are different game modes, and the one that I end up playing the most is a Time Attack. Where you get on, um, I, I get on custom servers, or, you know, other people's servers where they've made their own custom maps, or custom tracks, call it whatever you want. And they've set it to a time attack. So you, you generally have either 6 to 11 minutes. It depends, actually, and sometimes even as low as 4. It's like either 4, 5, 6, 
or 11 minutes is what I've seen. I think I actually played one where it was 10 minutes. And it, it takes, it depends on how long it takes. Like, those four-minute tracks are, it takes, like, on average about 35 seconds to go from start to finish. And you just keep replaying it and replaying it and replaying it over and over again until you get as fast a time as possible. And then at the end of the time limit, it's over and set and done with. It shows who the top three people were for the fastest one on that track. And then off on the left, it tells you what, like, the top 15 or 20 uh, fastest times were for that track, period, including a world record time, like the absolute fastest time. Sometimes it's the number one on the list. Sometimes it's separate. I don't know the rhyme or reason behind that. Th- those are the ones I generally like because I'm uh, I'm kind of a repetitive gamer. It's why I like things like Battlefield 4 so much or first-person shooters in that sense. I like to keep things simple, and I like to see immediate progression from game to game to game, and that's what I like about racing. I get to see progression from race to race to race, and that's why I love Track Mania because I'm playing these time attacks, and I'm like, okay, keep going for the top score. And you'll see in these footage, I actually do a pretty good job. I find myself you know, working my way up into that top 15 or top 20 list pretty often. Almost every race I'm getting up there, and I, I do pretty well, and <laughs> that makes me happy because it's it's such a fun game. But that's one of the things that Fix really didn't like about it was he said it was nah, this shit's way too repetitive. But you know that, that's kind of the point of it. You, know, you get those like ten or eleven minute rounds, and that's because you're into a racetrack that that takes like two to three minutes to finish one friggin' lap, and it, it's laps. You know some of them are you know an A to B. There's a start and a finish, and when you hit restart. You start from a, a standstill, but then there are other ones where there, you know, it's actually a lap. So your first lap could be pretty fast, but as you're coming into the checkpoint, you know, you could do like a hundred miles an hour. So you're gonna shave like four or five seconds off your first lap, even if you do shittier, just because you're, you know, you're zero time for the start time. You're doing a hundred miles an hour already instead of starting from zero. So it's fun. It's really addictive. We're gonna like it, and I've talked way too much about it at this point. So I want to get to the heart of the matter. If anyone is out there that really wants to play this game, let me know in the comments because I would love to play this game with other people. This is something that I could really see myself getting involved with you guys, with the community with, and anyone that's kind of into these. And I only use my keyboard. I don't know if it supports the controller or not, but I definitely know it does not support a steering wheel. So to keep that in mind, some people that's kind of a make or break deal for them. Others, it's not a big deal. If you guys want to play this with me, let me know. I'll add you to my Steam account, and anytime I'm on, I'll hit you on there. Be like, hey, man, if you're around, I'm hopping in. Let's all join on the same server, get on Skype together or TeamSpeak. Let's have some fucking fun. This is, uh, you might be seeing a little bit more of this. There are other games. That the whole point of this is to show you what I'm playing other than Battlefield 4, and this kind of gives me, it, it, it breaks, the, it pops the cherry of you guys <laughs> to open the door to allow me to post other games um at least once a week probably not more at this point because i don't have the time for it and i'm still really focused on battlefield 4 but i would like to mix and mingle a little bit of other things here and there and right now track manias is number two on my list of games i like to play behind battlefield 4 so um i mean i hope you guys enjoyed what you watched i know it seems a little repetitive for some others you might be like holy shit this actually looks like it could be a lot of fun so thanks guys for watching and uh see you in the next video